In today's video, we will be seeing the design procedure for a bevel gear. The question states, to design a bevel gear drive to transmit 7.36 kW at 1440 rpm for the following data. Gear ratio for the system is 3. Materials for pinion and gear are taken as C45 hardened surface. The gear is to be designed. The first step as always is selection of the material. Over here the material is given as C45 surface hardened. So the first step is over. Second step is assumption of life of gear. So here we can take anything between 10,000 to 25,000 hours. I will be selecting 20,000 hours for this question. Third step contains three steps as always. The first one is calculation of Young's modulus from page 8.14. The material is steel therefore E is equal to 2.1 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square. The second part in the third step is design the bending stress from page 8.18. The formula is given like this sigma b is equal to 1.4 kbl divided by n k sigma into sigma minus 1. Each of these variables can be calculated from page 8.19 or page 8.20. Starting from the value of kbl given on page 8.20, we will be taking it as 1 because the life is given as 20,000 hours into the RPM into the conversion of minutes. This will give the value for life in number of cycles as 172.8 into 10 to 7 cycles. Therefore, HB is less than 350. I will be taking this from page 8.5 and L is greater than 10 to 7 cycles. Thus, KBL turns out to be 1. Page 8.19 the first thing we'll be calculating over here is sigma inverse or sigma minus 1. So the material is cast steel. Therefore, I'll be using the second formula over here. 0.22 into sigma u plus sigma y plus 500. Since sigma u and sigma y are not given on page 8.5, I'll be jumping to page 1.9 to find these values for the given material. From page 1.9, I find that sigma u is 710 and sigma y is 360. So the value for sigma inverse comes out to be 285.5 Newton per mm square. 8.19 also gives us the calculation for factor of safety or n. Since the material is surface hardened, factor of safety is 2.5 and k sigma given in the last table on the same page the again surface hardened gives us 1.5 therefore my complete design bending stress by plugging in all these values comes out to be 106.54 newton per mm square the last part in the third step is the calculation of design compressive stress or sigma c given on page 8.16 the formula states the multiplication of cr into hrc into kcl now the values of CR and HRC can be found on the same page in the last table. Therefore for C45 that is surface hardened, I will be taking HRC from the rows corresponding to the surface hardened steel. Therefore the values are between 40 to 55. I will be selecting the maximum value that is 55. In the same row the value of CR turns out to be 230. From page 8.17, I'll be calculating KCL. Now KCL is 0.585 because HB is greater than 350 from page 1.40. So I'll have to remember the calculation or the page numbers like 1.40 for this step or 1.9 for the last step. These are important in these types of questions. Multiplying all these three values, sigma C is 7400 kgf per centimeter square or 740 newton per mm square fourth step is assumption of kkd which is 1.3 in bevel gears always fifth step is the shock loading condition factor or k naught which is 1 because no application is given if any application is given i can take it as 1.5 the sixth step is compute the design torque this formula is given on page 8.15. The design torque for bevel gear is equal to K0 into KKD into MT. 
the formula doesn't have k0 so i need to add the k0 as one factor from this formula i'll be calculating the value of torque so power is given in the question as 7.36 kilowatt n is 1440 rpm therefore torque comes out to be 48.80 newton meter or my design torque by multiplying these values which is k0 is equal to 1 kkd is 1.3 and torque is 48.8 is 63.44 newton meter the seventh step is calculation of cone distance from page 8.13 i have this big formula over here which gives us the value of r i'll be using this one for this formula i need five different values first one is psi y psi y is equal to r by b or is equal to 3 from table number 13 i is equal to 3 which is given in the question sigma c i just calculated as 740 newton per mm square design torque is taken from here as 63.44 newton meter and e as we all know is 2.1 into 10 to the power 5 newton per mm square substituting all these values i get the value of r or the cone distance as 83.148 mm all i need to remember over here is the design torque will be substituted in millimeter so i have to multiply 10 to the power 3 over here eighth step involves the assumption of the value of z1 now it is not given in the question that it is a stub teeth or a fold up teeth or anything so i'll be assuming z1 is greater than equal to 17 or z1 is equal to 20 because it should be even and greater than 17 determination of transverse module is the ninth step this is given on page 8.38 the formula over here involves the addition of r i z1 and mt i know the values for r z1 and i i can calculate the transverse module or mt as 2.62 this has to be standardized from page 8.2 so the value 2.62 turns out to be 3 mm 10th step involves four different things first we will revise the value of r from the standardized module which we just obtained therefore putting it in the same formula i get the value for r as 94.86 mm second we have to calculate the value for b now we use this formula psi y is equal to r by b so b would be 94.86 divided by 3 that is 31.62 this formula is given on page 8.15 table 13 third is the calculation for average module now this also is given on page 8.38 alone mt is equal to mm plus b sin delta 1 divided by z1 mt is 3 from here b is 31.62 and z1 i took as 20 now i do not know the value for delta 1 from page 8.39 i see that the formula tan delta 2 is equal to i i know the value for i therefore delta 2 becomes 71.56 degrees subtracting this value from 90 degrees i get the value for delta 1 as 18.4 degrees substituting all these four values in the equation i get the value for mm as 2.5 lastly i need to calculate the pitch line velocity from page 8.15 as i know the formula pi dn by 60 gives us the pitch line velocity now i'll be dividing this by 1000 because i'll obtain my velocity in meters per second also d over here should be taken as d average or average module into z1 so v is pi into 2.5 into 20 into 1440 divided by 60000 or 3.769 meters per second 11th step is selecting the is quality for the gears from page 8.3 bevel gears are supposed to be very precise in nature therefore i'll be taking the value as 6 over here for the is quality 12th step is revision of kkd and the design torque from page 8.15 and 16 table 14 on page 8.15 i have this formula b by d average is equal to 31.62 which is b and d average is 
50 is obtained as 2.5 into 20 as I told that D average is mm into Z1. The value after dividing comes out to be 0.63 and I know that surface hardness HB is greater than 350 from the earlier calculations. Therefore for ratio less than equal to 1 my value for K becomes 1.6. Table 15 on page 8.16 for IES quality factor 6 and pitch line velocity 3.769 meters per second my value is under the column for 8 meters per second therefore KD turns out to be 1.4 for the bevel gears. Revised MT now would be the torque which I calculated from the power formula into KKD into K0. K0 is 1, KD turns out to be 1.4 and K is 1.6. So my torque comes out to be 109.31 Newton meter. For the final step, I need to calculate the induced stresses from page 8.13. I'll be taking the value for I is equal to 3, B as 31.62 mm, R as 94.86, E and design torque. All of these I have calculated in the earlier steps. So sigma C is 796.67 Newton per mm square. But according to step 3, my design torque was 740 Newton per mm square. Therefore, this condition is not satisfied. I will have to increase the module to satisfy the condition. Let me check for the bending stress condition from page 8.13a. I have this formula over here for checking the bending stress. Here the value for R is the same as 94.86. I design torque B MT. All I have here is YV which is a new term. This I have to take from page 8.18 for Z is equal to 21. Therefore the value of Y is 0 0.389. So now why did I take Z is equal to 21? Because in this condition I have to keep the value for Z as ZV or Z equivalent which I obtained from the formula Z divided by cos delta from page 8.39. So Z is 20 and cos delta is cos 18.5. Therefore, this turns out to be 21. This is why I have taken Z as 21 and Y from 8.18 turns out to be 0.389. Substituting all these values in the checking of bending stress, I calculate that my bending stress is 141.38. But according to step 3, my design bending stress was 106.54 Newton per mm square only. Therefore, this condition is also not satisfied because design sigma b should be greater than the bending stress from this formula. So, both the conditions are not satisfied. I have to increase the module to 4 and then check for the induced stress condition alone. If there is a lack of time, I can just write a statement that by increasing the module to 4, I will be getting the desired values. Thank you. Stay tuned for the video on the design of bevel gears by Lewis and Buckingham method. Robometrics